Dear Nigerians, I bring you good wishes from President Muhammad Buhari, who, as we all know, is away from the country on medical vacation. Today marks the second anniversary of our assumption of office, and we must thank the Almighty God, not only for preserving our lives to celebrate this second anniversary, but for giving us hope and strength and confidence as we faced the challenges of the past two years. Our administration outlined three specific areas for our immediate intervention on assumption of office. These are security, corruption, and the economy. In the northeast of our country, the terrorist group Boko Haram openly challenged the sovereignty and continued existence of the Nigerian state, killing, maiming, and abducting, causing the displacement of the largest number of our citizens in recent history. Beyond the northeast, they extended their mindless killings as far away as Abuja, Kano, and Kaduna. But with new leadership and renewed confidence, our gallant military immediately began to put Boko Haram on the back foot. We have restored broken down relations with our neighbors, Chad, Cameroon, and Niger, allies without whom the war against terror would have been extremely difficult to win. We have reorganized and equipped our armed forces and inspired them to heroic feats. We have also revitalized the regional multinational joint task force by providing the required funding and leadership. The positive results are clear for all to see. In the last two years, close to one million displaced persons have returned home. 106 of our daughters from Chibok have regained their freedom after more than two years in captivity. In addition to the thousands of other captives who have since tasted freedom. Schools, hospitals, and businesses are springing back to life across the Northeast, especially in Borno State, the epicenter of the crisis. Farmers are returning to the farms from which they fled in the wake of Boko Haram violence. Finally, our people are getting a chance to begin the urgent task of rebuilding their lives. 